All right, guys, so I just came to the Delta Air Museum here located in Atlanta, Georgia, which is their main hub. And uh, it's really awesome so far. This is actually my first time ever being in a museum of an airline, and it's just phenomenal for all you aviation geeks out there. I would highly recommend this. Uh, you can see there's a lot of aircrafts right behind me to kind of show you guys where it all started from. So I'm gonna go and check out more places that they have to offer here and kind of let you guys get a a glimpse of what you can expect uh, if you do come here. So let's go check it out. And there's more history about the cockpits, flight kits that make the pilots uh, navigate through the air a little bit more the better. How to book your travel with the gate agents and people on the phone. And it talks about the history of their business class product and this used to be their old business class product, which is still commonly used on their aircraft. However, they are switching over to the new Delta Suites and I actually flown with them before. So I have a link in the description for you guys to check that out and see how that suite experience was for me. Now this section of the museum actually talks about the women of Delta and how a uh, pivotal role they played, especially during the World War II where a lot of men were drafted into the war and essentially they had to fill the roles that a lot of men uh, were doing during uh, Delta in that era and uh, how it evolved to great careers for women in the aviation industry, which is really cool to kind of show that aspect of their history. Now this would be amazing to have in my home if I had enough room. This is such an awesome display of little miniature aircraft models and the skills are just amazing. So. You can pretty much almost find every Delta plane that they've ever flown here, which is quite amazing to fit all that into this big room. And uh, they also have their Sky Team members up there uh, with Korean Airlines and Air France, Virgin Atlantic, China Airlines, and these are more of the modern uh, fleet that they normally run nowadays. So really cool display of aircraft models here in this room. Now, if you have extra cash and money and you want to experience what it is to fly a Boeing 737, this is a simulator here, which is pretty massive. And uh, fortunately, I'm not gonna do this because I'm on short on time, but this, is, this would be a pretty unique experience for that aviation uh, geek out there. But uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know how much it is later on. All right, all aboard. This is what first class used to look like. And 
and uh, this is quite nice. And then they kind of uh, gutted the back and uh, had more of the stuff, the 767 as you see here. But this, I will have to say, this is quite a weird experience being inside an airplane with no seats towards the back. So definitely a unique experience for all you uh, people that are into airplanes and aviation. As you can tell, there's not that much room. I'm surprised not much room for your luggage or suitcase. Granted, I'm sure most people were packing very light back in the days, whereas now people seem to kind of bring multiple bags and oversized bags. So, but very cool. All right, so just finished checking out the Delta Air Museum, and uh, obviously they, most museums always have the gift shops towards the end so you can purchase some stuff. So definitely bought some stuff. I got my A350 aircraft model. That'll add to my collection. And now I'm going to the 747 experience, which is the queen of the sky. So I'm really excited to check that out. So let's go. So this is what business class used to look like in the 747. Sadly, I've never had the privilege to fly this. And uh, so this is a first for me, but it looks really nice. And I can see why people love this aircraft and kind of sad why they were a little bit sad to let it go into retirement. So this is what economy looked like. It was in a 242 seat configuration and uh, pretty standard but you can see a nice entertainment system in the back as well and uh, let's see how my how comfortable i would sit in economy yep it passes my approval of footrest <laughs> Now the upstairs, which is really cool. Like I said, I've never flown this aircraft before, but you're pretty much up on top. Similar to like an A380, but not quite yet. This is what the cockpit looks like from what the pilots used to look at all the time, so pretty cool. So they gutted the rest of the plane to kind of give you more of a visualization of what it looks like with it being stripped. So pretty awesome experience. Gives you a better appreciation of uh, the aircraft and the whole airline experience to All right guys, so I just finished the Delta Air Museum and also the 747 experience and had an awesome time. Really cool experience just to bring with your family or just go by yourself like I did. And if, you're, uh, if you have a long layover in Atlanta, Georgia, I would say probably from start to finish it took me about like an hour, about an hour and 20 minutes. So if you have enough time, definitely check out this place out. It's very fun. And uh, as always, guys, if you like this uh, video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more cool aviation stuff from me later on. I'll see you guys next time.